gravel road, but he wasn't prepared for the dangers he'd have to deal with. Kristen Kite spoke with a man who says he spent decades watching vehicles run off the road near his property. We pay our taxes just like everybody else does. It doesn't seem to be a concern. Somewhere along the line, it's, it's, it's falling on deaf ears. But I think 20 years is plenty of time. I mean, we're talking in 20 years, I've probably seen close to 100 vehicles get damaged up here. Dean Mueller has lived on Harmony Heights Lane since 1991. He said he has talked to mayors and city streets crews about the dangers of the road. Mueller says the width of the road, just 17 feet, is a safety concern, especially around a sharp corner, and says expansion should be done. According to the Federal Highway Administration, a rural road should be between 9 and 12 feet per lane. Rapid City Communications Coordinator Daryl Shoemaker says before the early 80s, Harmony Heights was not in city limits, so there are about a dozen homes that don't get city services like water, sewer, and trash. Shoemaker says since the area is now within city limits, guardrails have been installed and gravel work has been done. Right now, we feel that what the, the city prov is, is providing, which is, you know, putting down gravel, grading uh, in that particular, particular area, uh, is adequate at this point uh, in time. Um, you know, if we saw an uptick in uh, accidents and, um, and so forth, then we would certainly take a, another look at that. As far as accident reports, Shoemaker says only a couple have been reported in the past five years. One was earlier this month and one was a few years ago and that involved a DUI. That was back in 2019, so two reported crashes in that area in the last five years. Shoemaker says improvements to the road would be expensive and the lack of crash data does not put Harmony Heights Lane as high need on road maintenance at this time. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Kristen Kite. Thank you, Kristen. Smoke was the big story earlier today, but now the focus has shifted to severe weather. 